Have you ever wondered? If only you had known these valuable lessons sooner, life might have been different. In every man's journey, there are moments of clarity when he realizes the value of past experiences. These quintessential lessons, if learned early with an open mind, not only promote growth, but also bring deep personal satisfaction and happiness. But wisdom does not always come at the right time, and it is a pity to look back and only regret the years that have passed without knowing those valuable lessons. When we learn from those who have come before us, we can avoid common mistakes and live a more fulfilling life steeped in truth. These lessons include managing your ego, investing in your dreams, vulnerability, wellness, and finding inner peace, keys to a deep, meaningful life. More in relationships and closely connected to the true values of life. Before we begin, I have a little challenge for you. Are you ready to explore and apply these lessons to your life today? If the answer is yes, leave a comment. I dare. Let's begin the journey of awareness and understanding together, where each lesson is a solid step on the life path you choose. Lesson 1. Embracing Change the feeling of change always elicits a sense of weariness in each of us. Because no change process is easy. It's a sequence of pains and sufferings. Sadly, if men refuse to accept change, they can never become what they aspire to be. The laws of nature always unfold this way. Accepting change by enduring through painful stages is how we grow and become stronger in life. Have you ever heard of the butterfly species, a tiny creature yet immensely powerful in its struggle? Though we surpass many creatures in intelligence and awareness, there are indeed tiny creatures possessing noble traits, especially the brave and persistent butterfly species, which command our admiration and serve as lifelong lessons. In this life, we, like butterflies, need to know how to embrace and fight through difficult changes to transform ourselves. The pain we endure is not the end, but the beginning of a new journey full of possibilities and prospects. Imagine a man, after years of working in a company, suddenly being informed of its closure. In this situation, pain and uncertainty are natural reactions. However, from a stoic perspective, this is an opportunity for him to explore new interests, develop new skills, and even change career paths. The important thing is not what is lost, but what can be learned and achieved from that change. Embracing change helps us avoid being stuck in the past and broadens our vision of the future. When one door closes, another opens. Yet, we often spend too much time lamenting the closed door without realizing the new one that has opened before us. The practical application of embracing change not only helps us develop ourselves, but also improves our ability to react and solve problems in everyday life. The greatest benefit may be the freedom from the pressure and tension that fear and resistance to change bring. So, are you ready to adapt and explore new opportunities or will you choose to cling to the past? Your answer not only affects your perception of the world but also is the key to unlocking a more harmonious and satisfying life. Men often face challenges beyond their control. Loss, failure, or relentless injustice. These burdens can weigh heavily on the mind, leading to despair and a loss of direction. But Stoic philosophy opens up another path, one of not just resignation, but a powerful act of will to free oneself from pain 
and strive for inner peace and tranquility. Lesson 2. Acceptance of what you cannot control. No one desires to suffer. However, in life, suffering is unavoidable. When we stub our toe, our natural reaction isn't to stand still and calmly breathe to embrace the pain. But instead, we often yell, clutch our foot and hop around to alleviate the pain. This shows that humans tend to resist and instinctively try to avoid pain. Yet, in every man's life, we will encounter uncontrollable ups and downs from illnesses and loss to lingering discomforts that cannot be clearly defined. How we respond to these difficulties not only affects our emotional state, but also affects our ability to overcome and grow from challenges. The key to achieving peace and happiness doesn't lie in avoiding difficulties, but in learning to accept and respond to them with equanimity. This requires a deep understanding of what we can and cannot control and redirecting energy from trying to control everything to adapting flexibly to circumstances. Consider a classic example. You've been looking forward to a long-awaited vacation, but suddenly a storm forces you to cancel all your plans. In this situation, disappointment is inevitable, but Stoicism teaches that instead of being swept away by negative emotions, we should focus on restructuring our perspective and seek an alternative solution. This not only helps you regain composure, but also opens up opportunities to experience something new that we may not have thought of before. The key here is the energy shift from trying to control the uncontrollable to enhancing adaptability and flexibility. By applying the wisdom of Stoic philosophers to modern life, we not only free ourselves from unnecessary pressures, but also find tranquility even in the most challenging circumstances. Practicing this spirit of acceptance is not simply about giving up or surrendering, but a profound shift in perspective where we learn to redirect our energy from resentment to seeking solutions. This not only demonstrates inner strength, but also improves the quality of our lives. I challenge you to practice this lesson in the coming week. Practice accepting what I cannot control. Have you ever experienced a similar situation? And how did you cope with it? Feel free to share your experience in the comments below. Lesson 3. Managing Emotions, Contrary to Popular Belief The Stoics, such as Epictetus, developed a profound perspective on life, where awareness and response to events become the focus. Some things are in our control, and others not. This statement is not just a mere observation, but also a profound truth, showing that true power lies in our ability to choose how we face and handle our emotions. It underscores a profound sense of autonomy, the foundation for developing self-understanding and self-control in all circumstances. Emotional management from the Stoic perspective does not mean suppressing or forcefully extinguishing them. On the contrary, it is a process of deep awareness of our own emotions, understanding their origins and nature, and thereby developing the ability to react selectively and appropriately. Through self-observation and reflection, we can learn how not to let negative emotions overshadow and dictate our decisions or actions. Practicing emotional management in daily life can start by applying simple methods such as meditation, keeping an emotional journal, or simply taking time for stillness and contemplation. These methods not only help us identify changes in emotions, but also provide tools to adjust them positively. 
Now, take a moment to reflect. Have you ever experienced a moment where being aware of and regulating your emotions helped you achieve better outcomes in a challenging situation? How did that experience change how you approach similar challenges in the future? These questions not only help us look back and evaluate the effectiveness of emotional management, but also emphasize the importance of developing this skill. It's a profound skill in modern life, proving that Stoic philosophy is not just theoretical, but also highly practical and applicable. Have you ever wondered, is knowledge truly necessary to live a happy life? Lessons on the value of intellect and wisdom often come late as we look back on what has passed, but together we'll delve deeper into the importance of accumulating knowledge and wisdom and how they create a richer and more meaningful life. So, are you ready to expand your knowledge and explore how to apply them in your life? Lesson 4. Value of Wisdom and knowledge. In the age of information, when knowledge is abundant and easily accessible like the air we breathe, understanding and valuing the importance of intelligence becomes more necessary than ever. Intelligence is not merely the accumulation of facts, it is the ability to apply that knowledge to real-life situations turning theory into meaningful action, thereby effecting genuine change within oneself and society. A prime example is the story of Joshua, a computer scientist who used his knowledge to develop an application to help visually impaired individuals navigate and interact with the world around them. Through image and sound recognition technology, this app not only expands accessibility, but also enhances the quality of life for thousands of people. This is a vivid testament to applying knowledge to practical use, not just for one's livelihood, but also for enriching the lives of others. But do we truly recognize the connection between knowledge and intelligence in our daily lives? In an era where information is just a few clicks away, intelligence is the ability to sift through what's important, turning raw data into valuable lessons. It requires a curious mind and relentless pursuit, a passion for continuous learning and self-improvement with each passing day. Applying knowledge to life is not just an art, but also a responsibility. Each of us, equipped with knowledge and skills, has the power to make a difference, not only in our own lives, but also in the lives of those around us. This effort enriches not only ourselves, but also resonates within the community and the world around us. Intelligence is not just a repository of accumulated knowledge, it is a commitment an ongoing journey of expanding understanding and meaningfully applying it to daily life. Let us continue to explore and learn so that each step forward is not only an upgrade for ourselves, but also a step toward building a better world. Lesson 5. The Power of Perspective We paint the world around us not only through what we see, but also through how we perceive it. Our perspectives, at times, become the chains of suffering and disappointment that we create for ourselves. Marcus Aurelius gently reminded us that our life is what our thoughts make it. This reminder is like a passing breeze, gentle yet profound, echoing a truth in Stoicism. It's not the events we experience that define our lives, but rather how we perceive and react to them that truly shapes our experiences. These thoughts and perspectives are not merely reflections, they are the paintings we create. 
determining the colors of each day we live. Personal perspectives can be like a pair of glasses through which we perceive everything around us. When these glasses are clear and unclouded, we see the truth of life clearly and accurately, but when they are clouded with the dust of prejudice and fear, everything becomes blurry and distorted. Choosing a positive perspective and reframing how we view issues is the crucial first step in changing our perceptions and actions. Furthermore, the power of choosing perspectives doesn't stop at just seeing things differently, but also lies in the ability to adjust those perspectives to better fit reality and personal goals. Adjusting perspectives isn't about abandoning truth. It's about the effort to see the truth from various angles, expanding understanding and empathy. This action is not simply changing how you view an event, it's changing how you live and interact with the world. Have you ever wondered if you could change your life just by changing how you perceive it? This question opens up the possibility of harnessing perspective as a powerful tool to craft the life we desire. This ability is not just a skill, it's an art of living that needs to be cultivated every day. Together, we've explored the power of viewing life from different perspectives and how this can lead to inner peace. Thank you for accompanying us on this part of the journey. Being open-minded and willing to understand these profound philosophies is an important step toward living a fulfilled and meaningful life. As a fellow traveler on the path of knowledge and spirit, I'd like to invite you to a small challenge. If you find these lessons valuable, please like and share this video with your loved ones and friends. Spreading knowledge and inspiration is a priceless gift that we can share. Now, let's continue our journey. We're delving into an incredibly important topic, one that may challenge your views on success and happiness, but also opens up a new perspective on how to live and assess true value in life. Let's explore and contemplate what truly brings meaning and joy to you. Lesson 6 the strength in forgiveness. Many studies indicate that forgiveness not only brings happier relationships, but also helps reduce depression and anxiety, enhances self-esteem, and provides mental strength and optimism while reducing discomfort caused by the stresses of life. In this context, forgiveness is an important tool not only for building and maintaining mental health, but also for nurturing healthy relationships. Marcus Aurelius, a famous figure of Stoic philosophy, once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This emphasizes that forgiveness is not only an act of compassion, but also a powerful choice to free oneself from the burden of anger Anger and resentment often create a heavy burden, weakening our mental and physical health. Those who know how to forgive tend to live longer, healthier and happier lives. They have lower levels of stress, stable blood pressure and better personal relationships. This highlights the importance of forgiveness in maintaining emotional and relational balance. In modern life, we often face challenges and conflicts from the bitter words of colleagues to the betrayals of friends or misunderstandings from loved ones. Applying the lessons of forgiveness not only helps us recover and restore relationships, but also helps us maintain calmness and self-control. Have you ever experienced how genuine forgiveness can change you? Every day, we all have opportunities to practice forgiveness, not only with others, but also with ourselves. Forgiving oneself for mistakes, 
And letting go of grudges can help us develop a deeper understanding and maturity about life. Thus, forgiveness becomes not only a lesson, but also a means to achieve peace and a profound understanding of human nature. Lesson 7. Self-Discipline and Integrity Self-discipline and integrity are indispensable pillars in building and maintaining healthy habits, from regular exercise to making ethical choices in work and relationships. By practicing these virtues daily, we not only create balance and harmony in life, but also strive for personal perfection. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and one of the most famous Stoic philosophers, left behind a legacy of thought through his book Meditations. During his reign, the Roman Empire faced pandemics, wars and internal unrest. In that context, Aurelius used self-control not only to govern himself, but also to seek peace. He believed that maintaining an undisturbed mind in adversity was the key to overcoming challenges. In this way, Marcus Aurelius not only liberated himself from pressure and anxiety, but also became a shining example for his people, demonstrating that calmness and perseverance are the most powerful weapons against all trials. By applying these theories to daily life, we learn to confront challenges not by fierce opposition, but by patience and steadfastness. But a question arises. Where will you begin to apply these principles in your life to create the most positive change for yourself? Life is an ongoing journey of learning and self-improvement. Through a close bond with self-discipline and integrity, we not only seek success by traditional standards, but also strive to live a meaningful life based on a deep understanding of our true value and the world around us. In the relentless pursuit of material possessions, we often forget the true purpose of happiness and the meaning of life. It's a familiar yet rarely pondered journey, breaking away from extravagant expectations and returning to the basics, the simple. As we begin to reassess the true value of material wealth, we open up a new horizon where wisdom and tranquility are true rewards. Lesson 8. The Futility of Material Pursuits In modern society, the pressure from advertising and social norms continually drives us to pursue material possessions from luxurious cars and large houses to the latest technological gadgets. This leads to a common misconception, equating success with the possession of material wealth. However, the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This is a reminder of the difference between success and true happiness. Indeed, the fleeting nature of material wealth is vividly illustrated through the story of a successful entrepreneur. He spent his entire life accumulating wealth, only to realize towards the end of his life that the happiest moments were not when he possessed the most, but when he spent time with family and pursued personal interests. The time and energy spent on the pursuit of possessions hindered him from experiencing and appreciating the simplest joys in life. So, what is the importance of having few desires in life? It is a lesson that many learn too late. When we reduce our material desires, we not only free ourselves from the burden of ownership, but also create space to develop ourselves and seek inner peace. Long-term joy and satisfaction do not come from what we possess, but from inner tranquility. When we stop evaluating ourselves based on what we have, we begin to experience life more fully enjoying each moment for what it is rather than what it can provide materially. 
This is the profound lesson that Stoic philosophy teaches us. A simple life is the richest life. Your perspective is valuable to us. Have you experienced a shift from materialism to seeking inner peace? Feel free to share your story and views to explore further the concept of true happiness in life from a Stoic perspective. Lesson 9 the importance of personal responsibility. In the modern world, where information spreads rapidly and each individual seems to be connected to a vast network of social and professional relationships, the role of personal responsibility becomes extremely important. We no longer live in isolated communities. Every action from consumption habits to how we interact with others has ripple effects. Clear awareness of personal responsibility helps us not only to better ourselves, but also to enhance the communities we are part of. Embracing personal responsibility holds significant practical significance. When we fully accept responsibility for our lives, we begin to let go of passive self-centeredness, abandoning the attitude of blaming circumstances or others for everything that goes wrong. Instead, we choose to embrace every challenge and opportunity for growth. This not only empowers us to feel more in control of our lives, but also contributes to building a healthier society where people are proactive and accountable. The way each person demonstrates personal responsibility can be diverse. For some, it involves respecting and diligently fulfilling civic duties. For others, it means adhering to personal ethical principles in every action, from how we communicate with others to how we manage our finances and careers. Ultimately, living a life of personal responsibility is about respecting oneself and others and recognizing that even the smallest actions are part of a larger picture, the picture of a life lived fully and meaningfully. Lesson 10. Living in the present. We often get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life. Responsibilities, pressures and thoughts about the future can cause us to lose track of the present and lose a true sense of life. However, to enjoy life and experience fulfillment, there is no need to do complicated things. The most important thing is to live in the present, live for every moment. Stoic philosophy, with its insight into the importance of living here and now, offers us a valuable lesson in acceptance and focus. Seneca, one of the great Stoic philosophers, once wrote, We suffer more in imagination than in reality. He emphasized that any worry about the future or regret for the past is a source of suffering because it prevents us from seeing clearly or appreciating what is happening right now. As a specific example, let's take the case of James, a middle-aged man who has spent most of his life worrying about securing his family's financial future. James missed his daughter's plays and was rarely present at the family dinner table. Looking back, he realized that, despite his career success, he had missed out on precious time with the people he loved most. James's story clearly illustrates the value of living in the moment, a lesson many men realize belatedly. This awareness not only reduces anxiety and suffering, but also improves the quality and meaning of life. Stoicism teaches us that every moment is an opportunity to practice awareness and inner freedom. By learning to observe and live in the moment, we can truly enhance our ability to enjoy life. It is a lesson that, if learned early, can bring about profound change in one's life. As life moves on, ask yourself, how accepting are you of the things you cannot control? 
Are you looking at everything from a positive perspective and living each present moment to the fullest? Ask yourself about self-discipline, integrity and how you handle change. Are you still pursuing material pleasures or have you found true value in wisdom and knowledge? Stoicism is not just a philosophy of life. It is a guide that helps us face difficulties and enjoy life to the fullest. Reflect on the lessons we explored today and share your thoughts in the comments section. What lesson did you learn earliest and how did it change you? If you find this information useful, don't forget to like, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. Together, we can learn and grow every day. Please continue to watch the next videos shown at the end of today's video to not miss the journey of pursuing Stoic philosophy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.